Hello everyone, welcome to Scorch Your Toys at Endymoon.com's transformation guide for the B25 Ride Armor Toys. We are going to start as a motorcycle and we're going to end up in armor mode. We're going to begin by removing the bracers from either side of the front wheel and just take them aside like so. If you're transforming Ray or Rand's version of the toy, when you pop off this bracer here, you are then going to try to disassemble it. So we're gonna take the gun off. That's gonna end up in the character figure's hand later. And then there's this little piece right behind it that attaches the gun in bike mode. You're gonna put this back in your parts tray. You're not gonna need it anymore. This next step is significantly easier if you're not using the included fairing holder up in the front. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the front wheel and you're gonna spin it back and then you're gonna pull your fairings out. That actually happened in fairly nicely for me that time. You're gonna swing your fairings up like so, and then that allows you to slide out this section in the middle, and this we can put aside. We're not gonna need it anymore. Now we're gonna work on the back wheel for a moment here, try to get a fingernail in and just pop out the hip armors from that tray. Once they're disconnected from the wheel, we can rotate them upward, and then that allows us to spin that wheel out and around. This next part is a little different. We're gonna take the center section that the wheels are attached to, we're gonna open that up, and that lets us bring these wheels up and away so we could focus on the inside here, and we can get the, this coming upward, and we can shove in that engine area. So that now is all the way up and the back section of the bike is getting into position. All right, this is a pretty cool part in transformation. You can see from the side view, the armor is really ready just to slide right on a character figure, but we need to prep the character figure first and we're gonna do so by savagely whipping his head off. Yeah, that's a good start. And then we're gonna take the whole chest and pull that right off too. You don't need that, get out of there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna find this chest piece, which you will note is a little different from the original chest piece in that it's got the straps that come up and underneath, that's obvious, but there are also little slots above those straps. And that's gonna be key for the armor attaching. So let's go ahead and put this on like so. And, you know, honestly, we could go back to the head without the helmet, but we'll make that decision in just a moment because now we have to fish it all in to the armor. And you can see there is a slot on the back of this. There is a peg here. So we're going to fish this through. Might be a little difficult, but you'll get there. Okay, so you got this kind of motley configuration right now. What we're going to do is we're going to bring down the chest piece, which has that big tab on top of that white part right there that goes into that slot in the chest I pointed out earlier. And we can also rotate this section here to make room for the shoulder. So we'll do this on this side here. Now you do have to kind of pull forward on the housing as you do this. And then you're gonna feel for that peg and that slot. And then it should connect. And once you get there, you just push back into place and everything will lock firmly together. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now your toy should look like this. If there's not a lot of neck poking out, make sure you just apply a little pressure to the bottom. And while we're doing that, we can bring this crotch piece down and make sure it's right where it's supposed to be. And then we can grab our helmet. I'm gonna keep my finger down there to keep support on it. And I'm gonna press down on that ball joint. And there you go. I'm using the helmet it had by no means do you have to use the one that you like. And then we're gonna rotate the hip armor in front of the leg. Now I just popped one of them off, but we'll deal with that in a moment. You just rotate it up like so. And it'll, it has a ball joint it's connected to in the back which is what I just popped off on this side. So I'll pop it back in and we'll rotate it around. And there you go. So now you've got your hip armors in place. 
you've got your helmet on. Let's just figure out the back of this toy. Okay, so I got kind of a weird scene going on back here, but it's pretty easy to fix. We're gonna bring these pieces down, and as we do, we're gonna rotate the uh, wheel. Now the wheel has a little peg that gets it into the right position. We're gonna come up and over there and like this. And then as we bring this down, you can see there's a peg on the inside and these rotate. So if it's not lining up, just rotate it. We're gonna press it down and we are gonna press it into that slot on the back there. Press it firmly into place. Now these rock. So once you do, you can line it up so it's vertical. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side here. We're gonna bring this around. You can see there's a stopper on one side, so we're gonna bring it around the other way and then it'll hit that stopper. We're gonna bring it over, rotate this so that peg goes into that slot right there. And then we're gonna rotate our wheel to be nice and vertical. And we're gonna apply a little pressure down here so this part pinches together as well. All right, to finish, we are gonna take our bracers uh, and we're just gonna peg them in right like so. Same thing on the other side. And now you could, if you wanted to, call it a day, or we can go fishing for the pieces that go on right here. For whatever reason, installing the maneuver jets is kind of a pain in the butt. They've got these pegs here that are supposed to line up. Uh, you just kinda get a feel for that and hope it works out for you. Uh, no, no, you need to make sure it's straight on there. There it goes. Oh, get onto your home. There it is. Okay, so do that and then do the same thing on the other side. Things are ever so slightly different. If you've got a Ray or Rand toy, you are going to take the gun and just put it into his hand and it'll clip in pretty authoritatively once it gets there. Let's get that in there. There it goes. A nice snug fit on there. And then you're gonna take your bracer side, put that on like so. There you go. So that is Ray. This is Stick or Scott and Rand if you prefer. You are now in armor mode. I do have a full review in the works, so please make sure you're subscribed to check that out. And thank you for watching.